Hello, so we are back, and this time with a customer job. This laptop is coming from, probably from a computer shop. Uh, it's a job, and it's saying power zone blue, no output. I don't know what that means, but for me, it looks like it should power on, right? Pressing the power button, nothing happened. The charger it is plugged in, and I tested it's 19 volts, so it's fine. Okay. You can see the charging light there. So something doesn't make sense because I press the power button and uh, we have no light on the power on the LED. Weird, right? Why the customer is saying is powering on? Okay, let's open the laptop quickly. Uh, let's fix it. Okay, let's fix it. How hard can be? I'm pretty sure the laptop uh, probably somehow reset the BIOS and all those things. We have the charging light, that means the 19 volts is present, that means the 3.3 volts power rail is present, that screw is missing. So, uh, not sure about the fault. So basically the IO chip is not reading the power button. Or the power button is not working. Well, let's see. Okay, the last screw. Plastic clips. That's a nice board. Look, we have the charging light there. What is this bus? The reset. Yeah, they fit a reset button there. Okay, let's try the let's try first to see what voltage do we have on the battery. So on the battery we have 8.4 and the battery has to have 7.6. So the battery is good, yeah. Let's unplug the battery. Do we have a BIOS battery? Yes, we have a BIOS battery. Check here. We do have a BIOS battery. Show the pins from the BIOS battery. Good. Let's plug back the BIOS battery. Let's plug back this battery. Let's plug back the charger. And now let's test it again. You see it's coming on. Pressing the power button and it's not coming on. We still have no line, nothing. Okay, the next step, logical step, it will be to check if indeed the power button is working. Yeah, remember, this one is on the keyboard. Hmm. Let's see, so I'll keep my finger on the power button. Here, zero volts. Here 3.3, pressing the power button, nothing happened. The next one, 3.3, pressing the power button, nothing happened. The next one is zero. Next one, 3.3, pressing the power button, nothing happened. 3.3, press no. 3.3, press no. Zero. Zero. 3.3, press no. 3.3, press no. 3.3, press no. Nothing. Nothing. More nothing. 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 I can feel each pin there, yeah? So I'm checking every pin from that keyboard. 3.2. Pressing the power button is going to zero. Wow, it's going to zero. So check that. 3.2, pressing the power button, going to zero. Okay, that sucks. You know what? Proper sucks. Wow. 
The keyboard is good. The everything is good. That's the easy chip, and yeah, obviously there probably it is 3.3. So this is the easy chip, and we have some capacitors. And check on the screen, 3.3. Yeah, so the easy chip is good. BIOS chip. 3.3, check on the screen. <laughs> so everything is fine. <clears throat> I mean, we can have a BIOS issue, yeah? Or EC or BIOS. Or a dead chipset. Hmm? But clearly, this is a very strange fault. Very, very strange. Hmm. Okay, let's check with the multimeter. Maybe we can check. Maybe we can spot some view, something obvious here. Yeah? Uh, here, yeah, it's fine. CPU, 30 ohms. Over 200 ohms. This is fine. No. Fine. Fine. Zero ohms. Wait. Wait. Why this is zero ohms? Like z zero point zero eight, yeah. Like nearly zero ohms. You are thinking to what I'm thinking, huh? <laughs> I can hear you. I can hear you through the screen. I can hear you. So this is the chipset power supply. That's what you you are saying there. <sighs> Okay, that sucks. That proper sucks. So that's what you are trying to telling me? That's actually the chipset power supply? Huh? You think? I can be that lucky. I can be that lucky. I mean, I swear, on the last month, I have only the dire chips, dead chipsets. The uh, dead uh, CPUs. I mean, I'm cursed or what? What's wrong with me? Okay, let's switch the power supply to 0 0.8 volts. Yeah, like that. Ground, let's grab the thermal camera. I don't think it's the RAM power supply. I think this is the RAM power supply from here. But let's see, let's see, who knows? Maybe something else. Maybe it's the power supply itself. Who knows? Come on. So we are looking at the CPU, right? <laughs> My ground wire. I need another ground. Yeah, this one is better. So he's taking... He's taking nothing. He's taking nothing. This is ground? There's no ground. I don't have ground. Yeah, now it is ground. So he's taking 1.4 amps. It's taking 1.4 amps, so it's 0 0.8 volts. Wait. Let's raise the car. 3 amps. 3 amps? Let's push 3 amps. 3 amps. 3 amps, 1.1 volt. It's not the chipset. That's sick. It's, it's something else. It's the coil. What is there? I 
I don't understand. What is there? He's taking three amps. You know what? Let's not play. He's not a cheap set. Wait, this connector is taking power, is getting hot, this connector? Let's unplug it. Oh, lol, I know what it is. I know. This is the ribbon cable which is going to this board, and I can bet it's the 5 volts power supply. Is the 5 volts power supply. Nah, no, it's not short anymore. No, 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 it's not short. <laughs> I was like, you know, was like, was getting hot, like two lines here and weird. Lol, I can't believe. Huh. I was about to swear. I was, I mean, I seen this configuration on so many laptops. You have here two coils and you have a uh, 3.3, which is to the chipset, but it's exactly here on this side, you know? <laughs> Finally, I'm lucky. Finally, I got a dead laptop, you know? Like, uh, like anything else, but not the CPU, the chipset. I'm relieved. You have no idea. I'm relieved. Now, what can be faulty here? You know, we don't, we don't even care what is faulty here. I will blow up whatever is here. I will blow up. Here will be like a little Chernobyl. I will come with five amps, and I will blow up the whole board. One second. But which one it is? So is this one. Does mean this one. Wait, I'm getting confused, but I cannot check because it's ground, right? So, ground. Wait, I plug the cable back. And it is zero ohms again on the coil, yeah? Let me unplug this, yeah? And there's no zero ohms on the coil, yeah? Does mean here something is shorter. Let's have a look under the microscope. I will blow up this board badly. I, I will, you know, just to get some revenge from all those laptops with dead CPUs, chipsets, and IO chips. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Let's get some satisfaction. So, what power rail do we have on this board? Based on the cable, yeah, we have a big truck, probably this is ground. Here we have one power rail, and here we have another power rail. So, uh, what do we have here? We have no idea, right? But probably, if I check that capacitor, so check here, check here, I will, I will, I will check this capacitor, and it's not shorted, lol. Lol. This one is not shorted. Hmm? This one? This one is not shorted. This is a fuse and it's good. Ah, this is shorted. Check that. 0, 0.0 something uh, uh, volts. Oh, I'm sorry. So let's come with the ground. I swear I will blow this up badly. Yeah? Which one is ground? This is 0 0.02, and this one is 0 0.01. Okay, so this one, let's push 5 amps. 5 amps. 5 amps. Oh, wait. Nothing exploded. Um, nothing exploded. Uh, which one it is? Which one we we were checking? Okay, that one, this one. Five amps, four amps, sorry, four amps. Now wait. 
is this chip or, or actually this capacitor? So let's check one more time. Coming with voltage. Lol, it's exactly this capacitor what I'm touching here. This is crazy. This is insane. I can't believe. I can't believe. I got three by a capacitor. End it. And here we have no short, and here we have short because it's ground. But here we have no short. End of story. Don't worry, I will uh, replace the capacitor like usual. Like normal, of course, I will replace. Uh, the people are so rude on the chat. They said, sorry, and you, 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 you didn't replace the capacitor. You will not go and replace it. Of course I will. But it's so rude, you know, so rude when I when I read this kind of comments like sorry you you didn't replace the capacitor. That's bad. Plug back the battery, let's power it on. Let's put the heatsink back because the CPU is good. Ha! I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Finally, I managed to fix something. You remember we just uploaded the video with the MSI uh, gaming laptop with a dead IO chip. I will replace the thermal paste, don't worry about that. I will. I will replace the thermal paste. Let's try to power on. And it is coming on, I have the blue light. Blue light is there. Now indeed has a blue light. We reset the BIOS, let's wait a little bit. That's insane, you know, a capacitor. I can't believe actually I was I was going with a power supply exactly on that capacitor. Insane. Wait, we have no picture. The CPU it is getting warm, the fan is spinning, so it should be fine. Let's wait. You know the BIOS is getting reset. Hmm? Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully we don't have a second fault. I mean, the fault was clear. Oh yeah, and we have picture. I can't believe. <sighs> we fix it. We fix it. We are a pro. We are a pro here. It's working, right? Oh, goes straight to the window. Sorry. Wait, this is a customer thingy. Wait. Uh, nothing personal here. No, nothing personal here. Yeah? So it's working fine. Let's plug the charger and see if it's charging. Let's plug the charger. And it is charging. You see the charging sign there? It's charging fine, it's working fine. We were so close, you know, to conclude this laptop cannot be fixed, you know, it's a dead shorter chipset. I can't believe it. Yeah, probably that's that's power supply, it's a five volts one. Let's check. I can bet it's a five volts. I can bet. Check that five volts. You can see. Told you, told you. Wow, we fix it, we fix it, okay, great, it took us like 20 minutes, kind of long, anyway, I'm happy, because on this kind of new boards can be anything, I mean, you can have a dead CPU, you can have a dead EC chip, you can have even a dead BIOS, yeah, it was a capacitor, yeah, of course I'll replace it, I'll say thank you for watching, like and subscribe if you like the video and see you on the next one. Bye.